right guys, so we're at the car wash right now, just getting it ready to show you guys a um, little bit of the upgrades that I told you in the last video, the wheel well liner and the mats are not really an upgrade, but it's just something I wanted to show you guys that came with the truck. It's, uh, I think it's a really nice feature. Um, really helps out when you're out in the desert or, you know, just getting dirty. Um, so, I'll show you that and we'll go from there. Here's a little bit of the car wash just in case you guys want to see it. guys just finished the little car wash on the 2021 Silverado and just wanted to show you this is more of a review I think that I'm gonna do I uh, wanted to show you the upgrades the extra upgrades that I did and just give you a quick little deal of what I like so far and what I dislike so here it is so, like I said, I was going to put the wheel well liners on the front and the back. They come stock on the front. So I went ahead and did the same thing to the back. It looks a whole lot better. Um, could be able to take you out and let you, let you just look. Um, so I highly recommend those. Highly recommend the steps if you don't want to tear them up. You know, I have kids and they go in and out like crazy. Um, it just helps as a step for them to go up. The truck has a two inch lift. And so even even if, you know, I didn't have them, they'd, have, they'd be struggling without the steps. So highly recommend those. Um, here's the lid that I put on. It's, it's worked out pretty good. Uh, there's water that seeps in through this side here. So I've got to figure out a way to fix that. Other than that, it's been working out pretty good. I really like it. Um, so we'll see if we can fix that. I think it'll be a five-star product. Um, another thing I went ahead and installed is the trailer hitch. Um, it's, it's worked out okay, I've only used it once. So, we'll see how that goes, but so far, so good. This is the other side. Same thing, wheel well liners on the back. Step. The front, like I said, I installed the LED lights. Um, they've worked out great, they don't flicker at all. So, highly recommend those they make the truck look a lot better um, one of the things I have this light is the LED dome lights up here they're not as bright as bright as I like them to be um, and so I'm not sure if I can change them out and they'd be any brighter so we'll see I'll try to look into that and see if I can maybe change them out put something a little brighter um, these are the mats they come stock with the truck but they've helped out so much just getting you know going off-roading and just doing anything at all really you know the kids helps with them so like I said this is not an upgrade it comes with the trucks with the truck stuff stop but really helpful and just wanted to point that that's a that's a plus for me um oh the air conditioner back here 
Uh, again, I'm a little disappointed. It's not as... Um, it doesn't blow as much air as I thought it would. You kind of have to put it on full blast for it to actually start cooling anything down. Uh, let's see, other than that, I think we're good. Uh, there's a really cool feature that I ended up using. It's the trailer assist. Um, let me see if I can. So it gives you the option on the rear view camera to put the trailer assist view and that just kind of helps you align your your hitch to your trailer it, it makes it so much easier guys I'll, I'll try to make a video on this later um, but really nice something I, I really like what else I think that's it guys so that's about it uh, so far I, I really I'm enjoying the truck I really like it and I'll keep you guys updated on anything else that I do. But so far, I give the truck, you know, completely two thumbs up. And we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys on the next one.